So we just got off the ship and we're looking to rent golf carts. We walked all around, asked people, and we have been led to the same direction, which is, everyone keeps saying, go to the tent area, you're gonna find the golf carts uh, rental over there, and we cannot find it, so we're going to be still trying to find it, and I will update you as we move along. So back near the ships, we asked the lady who looked like she was giving a tour to people um, getting off the cruise and she told us what they were. So, yay! Update, we are inside of the golf cart. Yay! Kaya for Kaya Hermandad, then turn right at Kaya Hermandad. So the tip is to download Google Maps and then save whatever destination you want to go to. So it's offline. So we're directing ourselves there. is Teyama Beach. Now, Teyama Beach is not one of the original destinations we had planned to visit, but it was one that was along the way. And we decided to stop there because we saw other golf carts that were parked and we thought, okay, let's see what this is. So we're here where there's supposed to be sea turtle uh, nesting area, and I do not see any sea turtles, but that's okay because it's a really beautiful area very clean, clear water. Um, there's some coral on the beach and the sand is really soft, but watch out, there are some um, things you could step on. But overall, really, really cute and uh, I'm happy that we found it. donkey sanctuary. This sanctuary is home to hundreds and hundreds of donkeys that are sick, wounded, or orphaned. And this is a place for them to heal and get better and then spend the rest of their life here. It is really, really um, beautiful to support sanctuaries um, who have the mission of helping animals. I think that it is a very nice thing um, for us humans to do. So by going to the sanctuary, um, yes, it's fun for you to look at all the donkeys, but also the admission uh, fee is a contribution to help those donkeys. So it costs $9 to get in. If you're 12 or younger, it costs $4.50. So if we were we tie carrots behind this and they were all using us at home, then we gotta do the help. Back of that truck is a bunch of lettuce and carrots, so all the donkeys are just <laughs> running after the cart. <laughs> from the buffet on the ship. So, 
I got some vegetable panini um, with some sort of vegetable potato patty thing, um, some lettuce, some cheese that melted. This is a nice way to have a beautiful, beautiful beach date, but basically almost for free. <laughs> so, bon appetit. Stop number four is the lighthouse and the abandoned house right next to it. All I know about the lighthouse is that it was the first one ever built on the island and it was built in 1837. So that's it, that's all I know about the lighthouse. <laughs> I know even less about the abandoned house. All I can really say is that it is really cool to stop and get out the golf cart and uh, go through the abandoned house, that's, that's pretty interesting. allowed to really kind of step into the area. I only saw what I could see from the side of the road and that was it. But um, yeah, so salt is a part of the history of Bonaire and you can definitely do more research if that interests you. Now I know what you're thinking. This is not probably something you might want to visit. The only reason I visited is because it is a part of Bon Air history and it is included in the tour highlights for the South. It is something to recognize and understand that it's a part of history. I've only passed by them. I did not get out of the golf cart. I didn't go inside of them. I didn't do any of that. And now we're ending our golf cart excursion. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope that you one day go to Bon Air and do the things that I've shown you. So if you really enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button. I'll see you in another video.